one sound down here, and I'll kill the both of you. Nothing in my life has been right since the summer of 1958. A time when even the guilty displayed a rare innocence. See anything? Not even a goddamn elbow. Hold it. Hold it. Wait, wait, wait. He wants to sleep over there again. What, next door? I'm Meg. I'm David. There are two young girls living at the Chandler's now. So? I hear you better. Oh, your cousin. Yeah, down by the rock. Cute too, ain't she? What's that? They were in an accident. Both parents died too. Mom says they must have died instantly. You just dropped by to get this to David. She's something, isn't she? Mrs. Chandler must love having her around. Tent worms. I'll do this one, and you can do the rest, OK? I don't want to. David? Hey, Meg, how's it going? I haven't eaten in almost two days. It hates me. But I'll do it. I don't care what you do anymore, bitch! Your sister is a goddamn bitch! Nothing I ever do is right. It doesn't sound like the roof I know. Not so fun when it's your precious sister getting slapped around. Teach you to pick on people your own size. You brought a cop here. After my mother! Best policy, mind your own business. That's how you stay out of trouble. So you think any more about it? About what? Getting Meg into the game? We got our own game now. You want to think about one thing, girl. Well, two things, actually. First. It could be your little sister hanging here instead of you. And second, I know some of the bad things you've done, and I'm kind of interested to hear them. So maybe this confessing isn't such a kid's game after all. I can hear it from the one of you, or I can hear it from the other. You just think about that. <laughs> no!